I spend most of my time either at work or at home. At work, I wear a uniform. At home, this is my uniform. It's comfy, it's warm. I don't feel especially cute in it. So I'm going to try to make myself something that I can wear around the house that I feel cute in. And I found this fabric. It's stretch knit, it's ribbed, it's soft on one side, and it's, it's a really pretty shade of pink. I really like it. And there's a lot here, so I think this just might be perfect for making a matching loungewear set. So I'm kind of, kind of sort of excited to try it. Also a little bit trepidatious because it is stretch knit. I don't really love working with stretch knit. It's better than working with chiffon, which is just evil. So we'll see how this goes. I might ruin it, but it might turn out. So I'm willing to take the chance. The first thing I did was get an idea of what I wanted to do and also what I did not want to do. Second step was, of course, to do some measuring. You can always take a pair of pants that you own and use them as a guide. I didn't end up doing it that way. I decided to just kind of measure and draw out the shape, but instead of using chalk, because chalk would not show up on this fabric at all, I used pins to map out the shapes. Then I cut them out, and these are the shapes I ended up with. Sideways, of course. Next, it was time to cut out a waistband, and to do that, I just cut out two rather strangely shaped rectangles, but more on that later. This is in no way a tutorial. I do not recommend anyone following my methods as they're very slapdash, they're often incorrect. This is just how I throw clothes together. I used to be much more methodical and uh, correct, but I had to throw that out when I didn't have as much time. The first seams to sew were the crotch seams, so that's what I did. I stitched them together and trimmed them really close to prevent bulkiness. After that, it was time to sew up the side seams and the inseam. All right, it is time to try them on. And yes, I had these leggings on underneath my sweats because it's cold here. And try them on, I did. It turned out they were a little bit too big, so I took the side seams up, and after that, I was able to tell that the front and the back also needed to be taken up just a little bit, and so I did that as well. time I cut out those very strangely shaped rectangles. Well, it was time to sew those strange shapes together to create a waistband. So I sewed those side seams together, and you know what I did after I sewed those side seams together? I trimmed them very close. I folded the waistband in half and stitched it into place so it wouldn't shift, and then I stitched it directly to the pant legs, which didn't work out so well, so I ended up having to take that out and try again. It worked much better the second time. I tried it on, and it fit super well. All that was left was hemming. I just did a simple hem, and the pants were finished. It was time to move on to the top. For the top, I did end up using the method of taking one of my favorite shirts and cutting around the general shape without cutting into my shirt, thankfully. For the sleeve, there was a little bit of measuring and a little bit of contemplation. that it was time to sew the sleeve into the armhole. If you've never sewn a sleeve into an armhole before and you're wondering, what's that like? Well, it's sort of like sewing a circle into a circle, but one circle edge is of a positive circle and the other circle is the edge of a negative circle. Or maybe it's more like sewing a negative circle into another negative circle. But they're very, 
very irregularly shaped circles, so it's actually really not like that at all. After that, it was time to figure out what I wanted to do with the sleeve. Simple turn under or instead add a cuff. And to do that, I just kind of pinched and pulled and poofed the sleeve to see what a cuff would look like, and I decided to go with a cuff. It's been almost a month since I last filmed this simple project, and I would really, really like to finish it. There never seems to be enough time to accomplish things, and I always give myself a, a certain time frame, and it's never enough. Here's me trying to figure out where I left off in the project. Realized it was the cuffs, so I cut out two squares, stitched them together, folded them in half, and two cuffs were born. I then stitched those cuffs to the sleeve edges. I did a simple turn under for the hem and the neckline, and the project was finally complete. So, here it is. Here's my loungewear. It is super comfortable. And I am already thinking about the next project, but I'm also thinking about how comfortable this is going to be to sleep in tonight. I will see you next time.